Hey, 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 hey. I have makeup on. I have makeup on. <clears throat> I'm filming a video. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Can I get one of those? Oh, yeah. My roommate still gave me so much hell about these. Oh, come on. Tab is bomb. It is. Christ. Yes, thank you. It's very throwback. Honestly, it's very appropriate that I'm drinking Tab in this video because there's a clip in X Men Apocalypse where Peter is drinking a Tab. Yeah. Today's video is another tutorial part of my X-Men series and this time around we're actually kind of going back in the alphabetical order because I missed two villains when I went through this again. I was reminded, especially after watching X-Men Apocalypse, that Apocalypse! I should do a look for Apocalypse! So this is my look for Apocalypse. If you guys have seen X-Men Apocalypse, you probably have heard of this bad guy. Um, but he also had like a huge arc in the comic books, otherwise known as the Age of Apocalypse. I do have a full bio about his character in the description box below if you guys are interested in learning more about him, um, as well as um, the link to his spotlight page on uncannyxmen.net. Uh, my main inspiration for this look was actually uh, kind of sort of the makeup that they did in the Apocalypse movie. I noticed that he had like really heavy gold on his eyes, um, especially like along his waterline area. Um, but in the comics he's almost always shown, um, like his entire body and like statue is kind of like a silvery blue tone, but he has really beautiful like golden yellow eyes and he's almost always pictured in like a desert setting of some sort because he is Egyptian um, in nationality so that's why I kind of went for like the peachy orangey vibes kind of to pull in his Egyptian heritage um, and then paired it off with the contrast of the blue because well, he himself is blue. In case you haven't noticed, Marvel, especially X-Men, have a thing for blue mutants. So if you guys are interested in learning more about Apocalypse as a character, feel free to look in the description box below for links and information about him. And if you're interested in learning how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I've already gone ahead and applied my foundation, concealer, powder, all the base stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows, which is pretty typical of this step. Um, I am going to cover over my eyebrows using a mousse liner from NYX. This is the Epic Black mousse liner, but I just want to draw on the initial shape before I go over with, with the gel liner, just so I can map out the brow shape and fix any mistakes if necessary. Um, I'm actually using a deep blue eyeliner pencil from Went Wild to do this, um, because I can't find black. Um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm covering it over with black anyway. And since this is a look inspired by Apocalypse, I was thinking of doing something kind of on like the cartoonish evil side, so something like very strong and angular. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. Like every other liner. Um, again, this is the NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner, and I'm just applying that using an angled eyeliner brush, uh, with this specific one being from Wet n Wild. What makes you think you can bullshit your way into my head? Like every other pencil in that piece of shit! a gel liner instead of a liquid liner was because gel liners have a tendency to be a little more tacky um, 
so they can hold on to eyeshadows better. Uh, that's at least my experience. Um, but I wanted to use this eyeshadow on my eyebrows. This is called Ryan by Surreal Makeup. Um, it's like a black with a heavy blue glitter going through it, and I felt like it's very apocalypse. What is this anyway? Some kind of goddamn comic book? on this eye look I'm going to be using a shade this is a limited edition eyeshadow from notoriously morbid um, it's from the down the spiral collab that they did with um, Tori biohazard um, and it's the shade sin which is a deep bloody red color um, it does have a bit of a shimmer but I really like the way it shows up in the crease because it kind of shows up a little bit um, kind of like a like a dual chrome like in the shadow it appears more brown but like the more you blend it out it starts to appear more red um, so I'm just taking that on a super fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna work that into the crease to my eyelid color and for that I'm using the pressed eyeshadow in pumpkin spice by sugar pill it's a super awesome metallic bronzy orange kind of color pumpkin spice and sin I'm just going in with that blending brush just to blend out the edges a little bit all right next up for the eyes I want to tackle the brow bone and the inner corner so I'm gonna be using surreal makeups illusion it's kind of like this burnt orange color but it has a really heavy blue ship to it you can kind of see it on the brow bone so I'm going to take that onto an angled brush and I'm going to apply that to my inner corner, the inner, I want to say like inner fifth of the eyelid and then all over the brow bone blending into sin. Line. I'm taking my liner in El Dorado from Urban Decay. I'm going to line the entire waterline and then take a little bit of it and trail it down on top of my cheek. What is this anyway? Some kind of goddamn comic book? Another angled eyeshadow brush, and I'm actually, just because it's the only gold eyeshadow or powder that I had on hand, dipping into my Too Faced Selfie Palette and I'm going to take Sunrise here and slightly go over El Dorado. I had Illusion on it, not adding any more product but just adding whatever is left on the brush to the inner corner of the lower lash line. So the glitter I'm using, I actually have it stored in these little paint wells because they came in loose bags, but this particular one is called Ancestral Curse by Corpse Cosmetics, and it is basically the exact same color as the Sugar Pill Pumpkin Spice, just in glitter form. So it's like that orangey copper kind of color. And I'm gonna apply that using a little bit of the e.l.f. glitter primer mixed on top of it, so I'm just going to apply it to the direct center of the lid.
kind of goddamn comic book? You had to do that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Disembodied boyfriend leg! Ooh. And then to line my lids, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Indigo. Um, and I'm just doing a small ish, simple wing. And after that, I'm gonna apply some mascara, and that'll be it for the eyes. Lashes. The lower lashes, I actually went over them in an orange liquid eyeliner. It kind of dried a little bit darker than I wanted it to, but whatever. I just used a NYX Vivid Brights liquid liner in, I think this is called Vivid Delight. It's the orange one. I'm going to put that on the lower lashes, and then on the upper lashes, I'm just going to go in with a normal black mascara. I'm gonna go in with Samson and Delilah from Kat Von D. It's one of the shade light blushes. I'm just gonna take that into blush brush, mixing the two together and applying that to the apples. Light. I'm actually gonna do something a little different. I'm using a Sirens Glow by Course Cosmetics in Vampira, which is a blue highlighter. I'm just going to go over it with Kat Von D Echo, which is a deep blue uh, liquid lip. And then over the top of it, I'm using Tater Rounds Beauty High End of Low. And the reason I'm doing that is because High End of Low has a red sparkle, but a little trick that I like to do, especially if I know I'm going to wear a look for a really long period of time, is to wear a liquid lipstick followed by a cream lipstick, and it just helps to promote the longevity of a lipstick, especially like a cream one that you want to wear. So it has no effect on the- it's like- it's not really a testament to the pigmentation. Um, these are pigmented on their own. It's just more so of a longevity. This makeup all day. I'm just gonna go over it with my Ben Nye Final Seal, a couple of spritz of that, and this should be done. Yes, I do plan on going out in this because right after this, my boyfriend is taking me out to a movie, and we're also going out to get some really cool food. So, yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. It's interesting color combination that I never really thought I would put together but I really enjoy it. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And anything that I didn't cover in the video will be in the description box as well. Um, if you guys are excited for the next installment of the X-Men series, please let me know. The next video should be a Zazel, and I really hope to get that one off my feet because it's gonna involve some really creepy, scary contact lenses. So yeah, hopefully you guys are liking the X-Men series. I know I haven't really posted anything about it in a hot minute, but it's one of those series that I do take time to plan out what exactly I'm doing for looks. So it takes a little bit more time to prepare and whatnot. But yeah, hopefully you guys can join me for the next one, which like I said, is gonna be Azazel. 
and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye.